climate change is a direct threat to children's ability to survive and thrive in life and uh, it leads to extreme weather events and uh, one of those weather events is the uh, drought that is currently being experienced in the Horn of Africa We are trying to strengthen community resilience to climate change through uh, improved water sanitation and hygiene services, in, including innovative technologies like uh, the sand dams where groundwater is unavailable. A sand dam is a uh, reinforced concrete or a rumble stone masonry wall that is built across a seasonal riverbed. When rains come, water deposits sand behind the wall on the upstream end of the riverbed and this sand builds up over time usually it could be between uh, two to four rain seasons water collects between the sand particles creating an artificial aquifer which can stretch several kilometers upstream this uh, reservoir that has been created safely stores and sustainably traps millions of liters of water in the sand. In the reservoir, we usually have about 25 to 40% of it being water in, behind the barrier. So this sand effectively acts as a slow sand filter, uh, resulting in high quality clean drinking water for community use, while at the same time recharging the underground water storage. Drought is a, is a result of the climate, the changing climate. What should uh, be invested in is uh, building communities resilience and adaptation to climate change. And that can be done by investing more in uh, clean energy like solar powered water systems and uh, in areas where we cannot access groundwater then you can use innovative solutions like the sand dams which do recharge the groundwater sources and at the same time provide water for communities and also improve the environment along that area. We should also invest in uh, uh, climate proofing the water infrastructure because the, when extreme events like floods come they do away with the gains that we have made uh, during the response and of course uh, when uh, government or organizations are planning their intervention we should prioritize the risk informed planning and response uh, to climate change emergencies so that we can uh, we can build on resilience i think uh, in terms of uh, dealing with the impact of uh, the drought and of course the, the climate change issues one one issue is uh, we have children that are facing malnutrition and also women uh, lactating mothers and breastfeeding mothers so reaching them uh, with the access to sustainable water and sanitation services makes you realize that you are, what you are doing is personally touching people's lives and saving lives.